A few times every year, you hear about young athletes dying from an undiagnosed hidden medical condition just this past weekend that happened to a young Bemidji baseball player. And though deaths from this type of thing are rare, they do happen. We wanted to know if there were some tests that young athletes should be getting ready for prior to playing sports. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric has the answers from a local doctor. I think testing everybody with um, EKGs, echocardiograms, pulmonary function tests is just, it's not a realistic goal. Dr. Jeff Leistad says no. He says it's just not feasible or necessary to do in-depth medical tests for kids. But within the last seven months or so, there's been at least three deaths of young athletes in the region. Last November, Patrick Schoonover died from an undiagnosed heart problem at a Brainerd hockey tournament. In January, Matthew Holland, a Barnesville grad and Mayville State University football player, had a seizure and died. And then this past weekend, Zachary Shabit died from an underlying condition after getting hit with a baseball. There are always going to be certain hidden injuries or electrical malfunctions in the heart that can come to light at some point. We can't catch all of those things. Dr. Leistad says it's too expensive, too time consuming, and doctors wouldn't gain much from the in-depth testing. But he says doctors can actually learn a lot from a sports physical through questions. The manner in which they ask can tip them off about any concerning symptoms. For example, do you have chest pain? Are you more short of breath than your peers? Um, have you fainted? Uh, have you had a concussion? I mean, so we try and find out, are, are there some, some red flags out there that would prompt us to go further? Dr. Leistad says your best bet, get regular checkups. In Fargo, Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. And Dr. Leistad also says Sanford will hold a sports physical blitz later this summer for young athletes to get ready for fall sports.